Hello there and welcome to the new Google Data Studio tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how you can draw the shapes within the Google Data Studio. So shapes are very important like for example we have line and we have uh, uh, circle and rectangle and they sometimes are required for the purpose of our visualization. Let's say we want to highlight something or we want to make someone sep something separate. So in that case we may need it. So very simple as you can expect the line have the four option like you will find it in the Microsoft Excel or Word or other where you have the four different types of uh, lines whether it's a line for example a simple line which is like this or uh, you can have something like arrow just to point it right or uh, something like which is an elbow connector so as you can see it is showing you the sort of an elbow thing and then it is a curved connector let's say over here we have the curve which we can you know change it as per our needs but uh, that's that's about uh, how you can add a line and as you can see you have a lot of different options like for example you can change the line style from here you can change the color let's say you want orange so now it's an orange color which looks good on the dark background the line weight if you want to increase or decrease as you can see as i'm increasing the line is increasing you want solid or dashed or dotted what sort of line you want you can get that um, line start as a circle diamond pointer you can have that option and line end how the line should end is also the option that you have so for example if i choose that the circle since it is so big that's why it is reduced so this is something you know give may give a very attractive look to your visualization if you are using it creatively along with your charts similarly you have the shapes like a rectangle shape over here which you can create of any size and as you would expect the properties are pretty similar where you have this option of background uh, and border so border you can change it to something rounded border right from here uh, you can make it transparent if you would like uh, you can change the border color to something which makes more sense according to the visualization that you are making and similarly you can have the dotted or dashed border color based on the needs that you have and you can enable that you want to add a border shadow or not and a very similar shape is your circle as well so if i'll just simply draw it when you will draw it you will feel like a uh, rectangle is drawing but no this will be a circle in the back end so you can have a very similar property which you can change according to your needs to make it as a complement one to the visualization. But that's how very quickly I wanted to show you a very simple, uh, you know, the different types of, of drawings that you can make, configure it as per your needs.